Hi, this is King David for David and Goliath Music. Uh, as you know, we have a mastering house called MasterMyBeat.com, and a lot of times I get tracks that come through there, and they're supposedly ready for mastering, but there's a lot of mixing that still needs to be done. So I will go back in and remix the project behind the client and try to give them a better sound. Now I'm working on a track today that has some stacked vocals and the problem I'm running into is a unclear vocals. So there's several ways that I want to start to fix those vocals. Okay, I could do that with EQ. I can do it by masking uh, through volume. I can do it through compression. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of each technique today. Okay, first what I want to do is match and make sure my vocals are matched because a lot of times a singer will sing something and when they double that vocal it doesn't match that lead vocal all right so i'll just play a little section of it I was sent to you from a distant lake. all right so let's just isolate the area where we're going to be working by using our select tool and just holding down that left click mouse until we have the whole area that we need to match up now we're working with basically two bars between measure two and measure four all right and now what I'm going to do then is go ahead and select my paint tool and I'm going to make sure my snap to grid is set to none this way I can manually slide things back and forth now I didn't need me to do that what I really mean to do is keep these two audio separate we know that the lead vocal is okay so what I want to do is just work with my backing vocal All right? I'm going to slide it and try and match it as much as I can if one part of this vocal is incorrect, I can always use my slice tool, slice off some of the audio, and I want to do that on my main or, or set to the line, either one, and chop out a little audio. What that will do is give me room now to move each one of these parts independently. Now if I go back to none, now I have greater control over my audio and I can move it just a hair left or right. That should match everything up a lot better. And what I did was I moved one audio to match and then I moved the second part of the audio to match. All right, so now that should make it sound cleaner. Listen to this. No, I was sent to you from a distant place. All right, now, so that's one technique that I can use. The other thing that I'm hearing is that the words you and you one is longer than the other now what can I do I can isolate that just that word play it you, 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 you. I'll know that my bottom one is going longer or holding longer okay so I can then go in and uh, put an envelope on that to bring that audio down so I can left click and slide down to automate and then volume okay now can find out where is it that I exactly want to cut the volume on that all right and make what's called a point all right and that point will allow me to paint exactly where I want my audio to cut off all right let's play it now see what happens still holding over so I'll just work with it and the, the point is this is not about perfection, but it's really about just getting it to a place um, that you can actually feel comfortable with the quality of your sound. Play it back. Alright, play the whole line together. From a distant place. No, I was sent to you from a distant place. All right, beautiful. Now, this is not typical of the way I would have handled that. The other instance I can use is just do a volume change, complete volume change, and mask that behind the lead vocals. That's a little less professional, but that's one way that you can do it. All right. Lastly, what you want to do is maybe use EQ or uh, or multiband compression so you can take down some of the offending frequencies using that EQ and that should clarify your vocals all right now I'm gonna play the whole track for you uh, this is the mixed version of the track 
and uh, I probably would want to play that mastered version for you so how about I do that next and I'll see you guys uh, I'll see you guys around keep making music uh, David and Goliath music uh, beatclass.com is a great place to learn how I produce music one way to to produce music and write music uh, or you can go to master my beat and have your songs mastered not just beats but complete songs with vocals and definitely go to guadiac.com to get a complete uh, three month 90 day training and get a certificate all right king david david and Goliath music one love peace now i was sent to you from a distant place like a scene from terminator 2 so i can save your life and you can be my wife i know just how to comfort you so don't be scared of the things that lie ahead I will always be there to guide you through And no matter what they do to you They're never gonna win I'll be there